She even pays loud. <laughs> it's paper money, how can you? <laughs> she act like she had a coin star machine. <laughs> Y'all ready for the next comedian? Keep it going, start clapping your hands. You too, girl. Every day, y'all. How's everybody doing? All right, can I tell you a little bit about me? All right, I'm real lucky to be here tonight. I mean, I almost didn't make it with these high-ass gas prices. See, these gas prices are so high, I had to put a take of gas on layaway. All right? It's like six months as good as cash, right? You know, because we're all on a budget these days, am I right, with this recession? You know, we all gotta be frugal, gotta cut back. You know, last week I saw a pimp on a skateboard. <laughs> He's like, Jamila! Where's my money, ho? <laughs> it's crazy, boy. And dating's rough, am I right, fellas, being on a budget? Ain't dating hard on a budget? Real hard. See, ladies, you just have to come out of the panties when it comes to dating. Well, we have to come out of the pockets. Right? You just ask Kim Kardashian's guy. You ask her dude, he'll tell you all about it, right? You know, because she broke his ass down. <laughs> right? You know, she's high maintenance, he's broke, you know, two million dollar ring, come on now. You know, he just finally got fed up, he got bold on her ass. Y'all see that one episode? And she got in his car, she's like, so where are we going uh, this weekend? Uh, dinner at the Ritz Carlton? He's like, no, McDonald's and a motel, bitch. <laughs> You know, because I, I got to keep an open mind. Many of us fellas, we got to keep an open mind these days, you know. Later for these, no more high, later for these high maintenance bitches, you know. I'm about ready to take a crack hole to a happy hour, okay? <laughs> I swear, you know, I, I'm keeping an open mind. You know, even my 74 year old neighbor's looking good right about now. You know, because all she wants is a box of depends and some denture cream, you know. I can swing that. <laughs> it's funny, because, you know, Joe's Witness came to my house yesterday. And I was checking her out after hearing what she had to say. I'm like, you know what, this is pussy on a discount. <laughs> she had no birthdays, no holidays. She had say, say, say. <laughs> and what's up with these bank fees? You know, I just opened up a new checking account. I put $5 in the bank. Hour later, I'm in the hole for 10. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? She said, you know, we charge a $10 maintenance fee to use our card. I'm like, well, damn. What's the fee to see, to see a teller, you know? A retainer fee? <laughs> it's crazy, you know, my next bank of millions, it ain't going into no bank account, or no Swiss bank account. Shit, it's going into a case with shoebox. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta tell you a little bit about me. Crazy, everybody wants to blame Obama. Everybody wants to blame, you know, Obama's just not creating enough jobs. That's crazy, you know, Obama's created a lot of jobs and opportunities. I know a while back, my cousin Spooky and him, Shit, they better killing off those Obama t-shirts and merchandise, okay? <laughs> you know, because Obama, you know, he cares about little people. And I heard him on CNN. Don't tax Pookie and them. Ta tax Warren Buffett. Tax Jay-Z. <laughs> but do not tax Pookie and them. These socials work hard, keep our economy moving. You know, personally, I just wanted to see a black president. You know, it's about time. I'm glad we got that black, that black representation. I didn't care who it was either, shit. It could have been Steve Urkel from Family Matters. <laughs> Did I do that? Yes, we can! <laughs> <laughs> shit, Mary and Barry. You know, I didn't care. I just wanted that representation. You know, we got uh, Hermie Kane on the GOP side trying to represent, you know? You know, this brother's, he's a trip. It sounds like he's selling fish fry. Nah, 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 you buy, we fry! <laughs> I'd like to see these two brothers go at it in a presidential debate. Because before long, it's going to be the dozens. Your mama's so fat, <laughs> she sits on a dollar, so it makes four quarters. Oh yeah, your mama's so fat, she almost shouted, haul ass, and that bitch had to make three trips. <laughs> your mama's so ugly, I took her into a haunted house and she came out with a paycheck. <laughs> oh yeah, your mama's so ugly, I took her to the zoo, they said thanks for bringing her back. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be an event. <laughs> Did you, did you guys watch porn? Anybody watch pornos? Yeah. I'm telling you, boy. You know, they say art it imitates life and vice versa. You know, you know, because you look at these, these porn stars, you know, they got no, no carpet downstairs, right? 
And all the women today got no carpet downstairs. I asked one girl I was dating, I'm like, what's up with the no carpet downstairs? She said, well, all the porn stars have it. I'm like, what, you know, are you a leader or are you a follower? <laughs> I mean, this defines an era. In about 40 years from now, you walk into a skilled nurse, nursing facility, you're gonna see old ladies with tattoos, body pierces, and still no carpet downstairs. <laughs> it's like, Aurora, uh, let's see, your dentures, your breakfast, and we gotta shave that carpet. <laughs> I mean, call me an old school reactionist, but I like the bush. You know, I feel like Andy Rooney from 60 Minutes. <laughs> Why no carpet? Why no bush? You know, they say it's for hygiene, but were we all wearing oxygen masks before? <laughs> what, with or without, is any guy gonna really turn it down? I say bring back the carpet, bring back the bush, the curly, the straight, the kinky, the cuckoo box, bring it back. That's my time, I gotta go. Amemi, thank you.